If you're looking for a bag for a shorter trip, maybe a weekend girls trip or a two day work trip, this bag might work for you. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Calpac's Hue Mini Carry On Luggage. This is one of four mini carry on luggages that Calpac offer. This collection, apart from the duffel bag, is a hard shelled collection and it's meant to be modern and minimal. So let's get into the price. The Hue Mini Carry On costs $165. This is the same price as other mini carry ons in other collections collections that Calpac have. For example, the Luca soft sided mini carry on. There is a two year limited warranty and free shipping because if you order from the Calpac website, there is free shipping on order $75 or over. I do think the price is fair. It is on the higher end. I find that under cedar luggages usually range between $100 and $250. For example, the Travel Pro Max Light carry on is $130 full price, and the Samsonite Silhouette Wheeled Under Cedar is around $250. $50 full price. So I do think that the Calpac Hue Mini is right there in the middle at $165. Let's move on to the outer dimensions and features of the bag. As I mentioned earlier, it is a hard shelled luggage. The dimensions of this bag are 16 by 14 by 9 inches. On its own, without anything inside, it weighs 6 pounds. It has a polycarbonate shell with black matte features. It does have a double zipper with the Calpac name and logo on the handles of the zippers. And I will be honest here, the zipper, in my opinion, doesn't actually feel as sturdy as some of the other luggages that I own, but I have not had a problem with it yet. There is a built-in side-facing TSA coded lock, which is great for security and you can set your own code. There is a handle at the top where you can carry your bag by hand if you need to, which is great because there are a few airports that have a ton of carpet. And if you're in a rush, you know that it is harder sometimes to push your luggage through carpet. And like many other luggages, it's also a really great place to grip and grab your luggage. You know, for example, if you're pulling it down from the overhead bin or you're pulling it up from under the seat where you stored it. What I do love about the handle on this specific luggage is that the top is plastic. There's thin plastic at the top. Underneath that is nice and soft. So when you are picking it up to grip it, if you're in a rush, it's nice and soft and it doesn't kind of hurt your hand. So I do love that feature of this handle. Now something I do really like about this luggage is that there is a handle at the bottom. It's more like a grip. Now I love this because it gives me another place that I can grip my luggage and carry it, especially since it's hard shell. So there's no pockets or little corners or crevices where you can just grab onto it. So it does give you another additional place that you can grab your luggage. There is a trolley handle at the top. Now this does not have any soft or silicone features on the handle, it's just plastic. There's a button at the top with the Calpac name and logo. Again, you push it down and then you pull the luggage straight up. At its maximum length, the trolley handle, I compared it to three other luggages. Another underseater luggage is Samsonite Ethereum, the Away Bigger Carry On, and the Monos Traditional Carry On. When I compared it to all three of those luggages, it is shorter than those. I would say it's shy about two inches or so from all three of those luggages. Samsonite Ethereum underseater. When I measured it myself with the tape measure, it measures full length at about 26 inches. When I measure the Calpac Hue trolley handle, full length, it's 25 inches. So it's an inch shorter full length. There are four 360 degree spin wheels, which is great because there's just less maneuvering to do when you've got a good spinner on your hands. There aren't any details on the wheels, they're just solid black. So now that we've talked about the outer features of the bag, let's talk about the inside of the bag. Something I love about the Calpac Hue Mini is that once it's opened, there are two different ways that you can have it open. One is to open it and lay it flat. This is usually what I do because it's just easier to pack that way for me. But another way to have the bag open is to prop it open using these straps. There are two interior straps located in the middle right above each inside pocket. These straps connect to a snap on, in the middle on the opposite side of the luggage. So you can attach each strap and prop the bag open. If you're in your hotel, let's say you have a business trip and you are not fully unpacking, you have a couple things 
inside your bag you can prop it open on say sometimes some hotels will have will have a little padded stool or a side table you can use those straps to prop your bag on the stool or the side table and just have it open that way inside the bag there are two compartments one side is completely open and on that side there are two built-in interior pockets there is a compression strap on this side also to hold your items in place the other side has a zippered interior divider with one mesh pocket at the top which is great because you can see your items Items inside that you put in that pocket and two open pockets here which is really great for sandals and lightweight shoes if you're going on a beach trip or something like that another zipper here on this side this compartment it is a double zip as well and when you open it there is the open compartment there for you I love this because everything that you put in that compartment once you zip it up it just holds its place I love the feel of the interior of the bag It's fabric so it's nice and soft which is different when you compare it to something like the away big carry-on which has more of a plastic feel along with the monos traditional carry-on I love the interior design of the hue mini carry-on this is actually one of my favorite features of the bag I'm a fan of using packing cubes I've said that many times on this channel so if you're also a fan of using packing cubes you can put them in that zippered compartment or you can put them in the open compartment on the other side if you're not a fan of packing cubes you can roll your clothes you can fold them you can Marie Kondo them and you can put them all in that zippered compartment and then use that compartment and zip it up as sort of a built-in packing cube and you can use the other side to put your shoes toiletries and accessories there's just so many options and different ways that you can pack with this carry-on if you're loving this video so far and you're finding it helpful make sure to give it a like and if you're looking for more travel tips and reviews subscribe to this channel because the hue mini carry-on is hard-sided it does make cleaning it pretty easy you can use a damp washcloth a wet paper towel even a magic eraser to just wipe down some of the scratches and marks that might be on the outside of your luggage. The interior is also really easy to clean if you have a mini vacuum or an extender to your vacuum cleaner. You can clean it out that way. You can also shake it out. You can shake it out outside and then wipe it down with a wet paper towel or a wet washcloth and just let it dry. So let's talk about some advantages and disadvantages to the Hue mini carry-on luggage. So one disadvantage is that it doesn't have an exterior outside pocket. This is unfortunately a disadvantage that comes with a lot of other hard shell suitcases. There are some hard shell suitcases on the market that do have outside pockets though. But if you are someone that does like that outside pocket for important travel documents or easy access items, or you are planning on using your mini suitcase, your underseater as your personal item and your carry-on luggage, so you're not planning on bringing any other bags with you for your trip, this may not be the luggage for you. But if you are looking for that, instead though, I would suggest Cowpax Luca soft-sided mini carry-on luggage because that one does have an exterior pocket. Another disadvantage to this luggage is that it does not have a trolley sleeve. Now I do know that a lot of people like to use underseater luggages, mini luggages such as this one, to pack in addition to a larger size carry-on. And sometimes with these mini underseaters, especially if they're soft-shelled, there is a trolley sleeve. So you're taking your mini carry-on and you're stacking it on top of your bigger carry-on. Another disadvantage to this bag is depending on where you sit, which airplane you're on, which airline you're flying with, it may not fit under the seat in front of you. So full disclosure here, I have only traveled with the Hue mini carry-on by plane twice. Every other time I have traveled with this bag has been by car. Both times was on Delta and both times I did have an aisle seat. I think the first time I traveled with it by plane was on Delta's 717 and then and I think the next time, I can't exactly remember, but I want to say it may have been a 737, but I'm not positive. But I have heard that people have not had a problem with it on Spirit and Frontier. Now this is where I could be wrong, but I'm gonna tell you what I what I think I know. Spirit's fleets are primarily Airbuses, the 321s. I think that they may have a couple Boeing 737s, but I'm not positive about that. And I'm pretty sure that Frontier has an all Airbus fleet. I have heard people having issues and complaints flying with JetBlue and flying with Delta on certain planes. According to JetBlue's website, they have a primarily Airbus fleet as well. So I think it just depends on the airplane, the construction of that airplane, and which seat you have. With different airlines, they construct their planes differently. And I have noticed that nowadays, the under seat area is getting smaller and smaller, especially if you have a middle seat. And I've also noticed that on some planes, the um, 
with the new outlets and things, sometimes you just can't fit things under the seat in front of you. Another disadvantage I have to this bag is that I will admit that the handle, the trolley handle, does not feel as sturdy as other luggages that I have. And I said that about the zippers as well. Again, I have traveled with this bag many times and I have not had a problem thus far. It could be because it's smaller and there's more space between the top of the luggage and the top of the trolley handle. And then one last disadvantage I feel like this bag has, in my opinion, is that because the spine is, on the, is at the bottom of the bag, when you open it, it doesn't lay completely flat. The four wheels in the back are touching each other. I still, I can still place it on my luggage rack and I pack that way and I don't I haven't had an, a major issue thus far but I don't like that it doesn't lay completely flat even if you put it on the floor it's it kind of topples a little bit it doesn't lay as flat as I want it to be when I'm packing so you know Okay, so now that we've talked about some disadvantages, let's talk about some advantages to this bag. So one advantage to this bag that I love is that it comes with a dust bag. I know that sounds really little and silly, but I love a good dust bag. I store all of my luggages under my bed and I don't like them getting dusty. This dust bag is a little unique as well because it does have um, empty spaces for the wheel. So, so another advantage of this bag, and this is gonna be no surprise coming from me, but it's got a great design inside and outside. I I'm a sucker for design you know I love traveling in style and I really think that this bag has a really nice design I love the color selection this is something I also love about Cowpack they have really beautiful color selections for their products in fact compared to all the other mini carry-on luggages that they offer this specific one the hue mini carry-on has the most color options I have the pink sand color they have the hazel color which is a nice brown color they have the traditional black emerald which is a darker green color which is really nice and I think they also switch out their colors depending on the season as well I love the zipped interior design the mesh pocket the two open pockets where you can put um, smaller shoes and sandals and I also love the interior straps that you can use to prop your bag open then another advantage that I love is that I love the size I think it's a great size this bag is really great for a weekend trip short business trip any of those micro trips that you're doing which I find myself and a lot of other people have been doing a lot of these shorter trips lately this is a great bag for that also pairs really well with another bag like another weekender bag maybe a duffel bag if you're looking to stretch your trip because it's great to carry enough stuff but not too much stuff especially if you are a minimal packer or you're working on trying to be a minimal packer and not pack as much stuff and if you're just someone who likes to travel a lot and you like to switch it up and you know sometimes you'll use a backpack and then other times you'll use a carry-on luggage this is a great little bag to add to your collection if you are looking for a bigger piece of luggage you can check out this video right here and I will see you in the next one bye